आउज़बिल्लिमशैतरजीम बसमीम अल्लाम वरह वरक स्टूडेंट्स यू नो इट्स आर ट्वेंटी सेवन लेक्चर एंड टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट द रिवीन ऑफ द टॉपिक ऑफ अर्डर ऑफ ऑपरेशन एंड यू नो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक सो लेट स्टार्ट द रिवीन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक ओके स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स टेक एन ओवर व्यू अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ ऑपरेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स ऑर्डर मीन्स सीक्वेंस arrangement sequence means who sequence yes operations and what are the operations in mathematics yes divide multiply plus and minus we have these four operations in our uh, questions so students we will learn uh, in this topic about the sequence of these operations that means if we have these operations in our question then how can we solve the question which operations we will do first so students let's move on the uh, families we make uh, we will make the two families uh, about these two operations uh, we divide these two uh, four operations in two families uh, first family we have plus and minus in second family we have multiply and divide uh, for uh, the purpose of uh, making these families is to uh, help us how can we solve the question if we have these two operations in our question uh if we have just only these two operations in our question then students we have to follow the rule uh, work from left to right is it clear if we have plus and minus in in question or if we have multiply and divide in our question then how can we solve the question work from the left side is it clear okay students uh and in this question uh, in this topic we will follow the very important rule which is called dumas rule you know about this rule very well dumas stands for uh, division multiplication addition and subtraction uh, this rule we will uh, follow only when we have more than two operations in our question is it clear if we have more than two operation or mixture of families you can say if we have mixture of families in our question then we can uh, use dumas rule is it clear Okay, students. Let's do some practice. Uh, we have the question fifteen minus nine plus seven. Uh, students, first of all, we have to focus on the operations. How many operations we have? We have two operations, and also focus on this. We have the uh, two operations, and these two operations belongs to one family. Is it clear? If we have only one family in our question, then how can we solve? Yes, we work from the left to right. Uh, we start. We will start the uh, question. Uh, solve it from the left side. Fifteen minus nine is equals to six. Then uh, put the seven as it is. Then we add up six plus seven is equals to thirteen. Okay, student. In the next one question, we have uh, also two operations, and uh, these two operations belong to one family. Divide and multiply. These two operations belong to the second family. Uh, so. when we have two operations belong to one family then we work from left to right so uh, start from the left side we have 42 divided by 7 which is equals to 6 and then we put the two as it is and then multiply 6 with 2 is equals to 12 so simple okay student look at the next question we have in this question again two operation uh, but focus on these two operations we have two operation but these belong to two different families minus belong to one family and the multiply belong to another family it means we have the operations from mixture of families so how can we solve the question that uh, as i told you before that students if we have the uh, operations from two different families then we have to follow dumas rule so according to dumas rule what we will do first first of all we have to solve the operation of division Be uh, but in our question we have no any operation about division so move on the next one we have multiplication so first of all we have to solve the multiplication uh, 15 multiply 2 is equals to 30 and then put the 35 as it is below then 35 minus 30 is equals to 5 is it clear okay student move on in this question we have three operation more than two operations and these two operations belong to three operations belong to two different families we have minus divide and plus so in this we have to follow dumas rule according to dumas what we will do first yes division 
we will do the operation of division first 40 divide 8 is equals to 5 and the remaining values put as it is below 64 minus and plus 22 now in this step again focus on the operations we have two operations and look at their families yes these two operations belong to one family so students we will never follow the domain rule here because we have two operations and these two operations belong to one family then how can we solve this yes we will start from the left side uh, we minus the 5 min from 64 which is equal to 59 and then uh, add up the 22 in 59 which is equals to 81 clear okay student look at this question in this question we have the bracket uh, as you know very well if you if we have the bracket in our question then first of all we have to solve the bracket first uh, in bracket we have only one operation which is multiplication so we first of all multiply 4 with 5 which is equals to 20 so after that we have to focus on the operations how many operations we have we have three operations and uh, these are the mixture of two families then we will follow here Dumas rule so according to Dumas we will uh, first do multiplication uh, we multiply 2 with 6 which is, is equal to 12 then put the remaining values along with their sign as it is below and now also focus on the um, operations here we have two operations and these operations belong to one family it means we have to work from left to right so start from the left side we have 8 plus 12 is equals to 20 then uh, put the 20, uh, minus 20 as it is below 20 minus 20 is equals to 0 so students remember that if we have two operations belong to one family then there is no need to follow the Dumas rule if we have the mixture of families in our question more than two operations and these are these operations belong to two different families then we have to follow the Dumas rule is it clear now your task is to practice the page number 29 30 31 and 32 from your workbook clear students thank you